Hello everyone, welcome to another VisionAid video. Um, today we're looking at wearable technology. Um, so we've got just a select, small selection of some of the wearable headsets that we have here. We're particularly looking at the magnification side of these devices because some of them have a few more features on than others. Right, firstly we're going to start with these here. These are Max TV glasses. So these are really a low-tech solution. Really good though. A bit limited because they're only um, 2.1 times magnification. So, um, and it's a fixed magnification, unlike the electronic devices where you can adjust the magnification, but still a great simple solution. They work on a double lens, and each lens is independent with a little focus wheel here. Um, you're not going to win any fashion awards when you've got them on. There we go. And you put them on and adjust the lenses independently to get the best focus, and then they'll magnify. Um, and these, there are two different versions of, of these that we sell. These are called the Max TV, so these are for distance work at 2.1 times magnification. So great for watching things like television um, and things like that. But, and we also do ones called Max Detail, which are for much closer work. Moving on from the Max TV um, low-tech solution, we're going to now look at the high-tech solutions. And here's just a small selection of what we offer. So we've got the new A-Sight and we've got the Iris Vision. Both these use virtual reality headsets with a mobile phone in the front of the headset. And what, we, what we're using on the phone is the camera so that can look around and see what, what you need to see. And then you're looking through the headset at the screen on the phone. So you've got a really high quality, high definition camera and screen to look at. And then on these, you can also see things in full color. You get a nice wide field of vision, but you also get the ability to be able to zoom in and zoom out on these devices as well. We've also got the eSight, which is a much smaller headset, and it's also got a patented tilt function, so you can actually tilt it about the way if you wanted to not use it, where the other ones you do have to take them off when you're not using them. These devices are great for a practical application, so if you want to do hobbies, gardening, um, you might want to be using a sewing machine, um, or, or hand sewing, or even playing a musical instrument, that's great for that kind of thing because it's it, the magnifiers that you wear on your head and it keeps both your hands free. So even great for watching television, going to the theatre, right down to the very basics like, like reading books, magazines, but you can just hold it in front of your face just like you would normally and then set it to your required magnification level and you can enhance the colours, like have white on black, black on white, you can do that on all of them. We're going to take a look at the, the A-Sight VR first. Like I say, it's got a mobile phone built into the uh, in front of here and we're using the, the, using the camera off the mobile phone to, to look at what you would normally be looking at. And then you look into the back of this headset. It's a nice lightweight headset. All, all, even though some of these look quite large, they are very light and designed to be worn for sort of long periods of time. It's got nice straps that you can adjust to get it nice and comfortable on your head. It's foam laid, la lined as well, so it's, it fits nice and snugly on your head. So that's good because it blocks out any sort of peripheral light that might affect your image quality. And also there's a wheel on top of this one and also on the iris vision that adjusts the distance between the actual camera and, and, and your eyes effectively. So you just adjust that initially to set it to your um, focus, get it nice and sharp. The cameras on them themselves, are, they're autofocus anyway. And it's important that if you've ever worn glasses for distance use, so if you're short-sighted, even if you've not worn those for a long period of time, it's best to get the, a recent prescription from an optician and get a pair of cheap glasses, um, and then you can wear them under, the, under these devices, you'll get a better image. But on the e side, that this one here, instead of wearing your glasses underneath it, because it's a much smaller head, so you can't really do that, then we can have the, your prescription lenses actually built into the device. So then you'll get a much clearer image. So reading glasses, it makes no difference. It's only distance correction. Okay, back to the A-Sight VR. Got a power switch on top, um, and that's the only actual um, control on the unit. We charge it from through a USB port there, and we control the device from a Bluetooth controller. So this is wirelessly links to this device. So this is worn on the head. Okay, so this you would wear like this, and then you could control it with the, t um, the controller here. So you've got the joystick, for zooming in and out, and then various buttons to change the modes. It's really simple, you've only got a trigger button and two extra buttons, and this just runs off an AA um, battery. 
So really nice and simple. And then this, you just charge like you would a no normal mobile phone via a cable here. It's, it runs at 60 frames per second. That means that it's it's a fast refresh rate. So when you actually turn in, if you're watching sort of like live action, I mean, maybe you've gone to a football match or something like that, and things are moving quickly, you'll get a much quicker image on it. And it magnifies up to 16 times. So it'll go all the way from one all the way up to 16 just by simply pushing forward and backwards on the joystick. And battery life on this thing, you'd probably get around about three hours, three hours on its lithium ion battery. Right, now let's take a look at the Iris Vision. This is another one that uses a virtual reality headset. Again, with the mobile phone clicked in here. Um, the difference between this and the Acer VR is what one of the main differences is that this doesn't have a separate controller. So the, the control on this one, uh, they're all built into the headset. So you've got a pad here so that you stroke forwards and backwards to zoom in and out. And then you've got buttons to change the modes, one to take pictures, brightness, and various other controls, okay? We've got the same focusing wheel that we have on the iSight VR for setting the distance um, and the power button is on the front here. This can be charged in various ways. This can You can either take the, the phone out because it, you can just unclip it or this also comes with a contact charger so you can just simply place the device onto a, a contact charger so you don't have to remove it from the headset to charge it. It's also got a magnetic point at the bottom, a charging connection. This doesn't actually provide enough power to charge the device, but it will keep it running. So if you were sort of watching, um, binge watching Netflix or something like that, or watching a, a long film and the battery was running low, you can just connect onto this connection here and it will keep the Iris Vision running. Similar design with the, we're looking through the lenses. This one's got various different modes that you can switch through and you can deactivate some of the modes. So if, you, if, you, if you're supplying it to somebody that's elderly and they want to keep it simple, you can have it so that it's only got a few modes in the loop and you just keep tapping the button and it will go around the modes. So it's got, for example, it have one for scene for looking around a room or outside. Um, there's one for, um, there's also one for watching television, so which darkens the rest of the room and adjusts the contrast for spe uh, specifically for watching a television. It's also got a special RP mode, retinitis pigmentosa mode, that enables you to zoom the actual screen away from you so you can see it fit a lot more information into a much smaller area. So it's great for people with RP and tunnel vision. And it, and it also gives you that nice wide field of view as well. And then you've got various enhanced reading modes, white on black, black on white. You can also um, link this to your um, Wi-Fi, and then you can connect to services like YouTube and watch YouTube videos in there as well. And you, you can also take photographs on this um, and store the photographs on, on the, on the system itself so then you can recall them later in the gallery and then bring those photos up and enlarge and view the photos at your leisure. These devices people get the impression that they're heavy but they're not, they're, honest, they're honestly not, it's quite a nice device. This goes up to 12 times magnification and battery life around about three hours but you also get a power bank with this one so you've got separate power that you can plug onto this to make it run longer because you might have gone to a concert or a festival where you can't gain, actually gain access to a power socket to charge it so that's a nice nice feature as well that you can just link to there and use the power bank but again great image quality um, and another virtual reality style system right finally we're going to look at the e-site this is the it's a very different device you've got a strap here that goes over the forehead and it's worn like this so it's a much smaller device than this then we've got a strap that goes around the back of the head to secure it there we go. Like that. This comes with a wired controller and I can tilt this up. So this is again great for anyone that needs to be able to see uh, with for maybe for mobility or you may be using it for work. So if you might be using it in a laboratory or somewhere like that where you sometimes you need to be able to lift this up to do something and then you can just pop it back down when you want to view things through the magnifier. Or you can wear it at half halfway between so that then I can use my normal vision here below but then if I want to look through the magnifier I can just tilt my head forwards and then look through the magnifier and this is this is all a bespoke headset so it's much smaller it's got two OLED screens in here and again we can adjust the distance between the pupils this is normally set um, for the individual and, and like I said you can also have your your own prescription lenses built into this one as well so you don't have to wear glasses under it and it's got a camera and then 
an LED light and then two sensors so, so it's autofocus as well. So looking at the controller for the site, it's a wired controller, it's a bit different to the other ones and it's got a belt clip on it so you can clip it onto your belt um, and it's got a cross formation of switches here so we can go into the menus and control all the functions from here and a little pad that you can swipe up and down on to go up and down the different menu options and it's a click button to select the menu option. Um, it also has three wheels on the side, two on this side and one on this side. So they, they can do things like you can change the, the brightness on the screens. You can also override the auto focus and make it manual focus. And you can also obviously change the zoom. And there are also push, push buttons as well. So you can zoom in on something. Then if you wanted a quick overview of what you were looking at, you can squeeze it in the one of the buttons in and it will zoom out it all the way and give you a box to show you what information you were looking at when you were zoomed in. So then you can relocate yourself and then let go and it will zoom back in on that point. So again, some nice features on, on the e-site. I find that this one works better if people want to see further distance because it's a, it's a great camera in it um, and it's a nice small headset. So if you didn't want it, want it to be more discreet, this is the one to go for. Um, another really nice feature on the e-site is there's a little panel here that you can open up and it's also got um, a HDMI input on it. So that allows you to feed either a computer signal into it. So you can get take an output from your PC, um, plug it into here, or you might have a gaming machine like um, an Xbox or a PlayStation. You can plug feed the information into here and that allows you to view that device, whether it's your spreadsheet or your word processing document or internet or your Xbox or PlayStation game. It allows you to view it in the headset and then magnify that image in the headset. So you don't actually even have to look at the, the screen. You could actually lie down in bed and, um, and, and still watch and play or, or sit more comfortably in a more comfortable chair um, and be able to still do the same tasks, but without having to physically look at it through the camera. You can actually just feed the signal directly into the eSight, which is a great feature. And it's, it's pretty unique actually, because you can't do that with any of the other ones. So that's the eSight. It is the most expensive one. Um, but then it is almost custom made and it's, it's uh, and you can get this in white or black finish. So if you're fashion conscious, you can have one to suit which, whichever one you prefer. Nice unit um, and a nice slim profile and that's the e-sight. There we go. So that's just a small selection of VisionAid's um, wearables. Um, so if you need any more information, just please get in touch or if you want to arrange a demonstration, um, then just let us know and we'd be happy to help. And thanks for joining us. Thank you, bye-bye.